My new home is in a new country. I know very little of the language and culture. Memories of my old country will be in my heart forever. The love of my old country will always remain. I leave for a better life and new opportunities, hoping to make a bright future for me and my family. With silent lips, give me a tide. You're poor. Your huddled mass is yearning to breathe free. For Marlon to be able to get immigration and citizenship, he's got to know about this country. And American art is just as important as everything else in this country. It's really hard to to have a life without paper. It's really hard to have a life without all these rights that, you, that all the people have but you don't have. What is he supposed to do if he gets picked up by the police? What if he's in a car and he gets pulled over? What's he supposed to do? I got to learn about American art so I can get my citizenship and I can become a citizen of the United States. No wonder it was so difficult for Marlon to be able to get any type of assistance from the place because they wouldn't even return phone calls. But by your third visit, you have to have ID. Or you can't, or we don't give you groceries. But why? I met this individual, his name is Ruben. He was referred by a contributor named Brandon, who uh, turned into a volunteer and said, hey, I know this person, his name is Ruben Lopez, he's doing really good things, he's going to school, he's doing all the right things necessary to become a legal citizen. My name is Ruben Lopez. Um, Ruben Lopez Resilas, actually. We have two last names in Mexico, that's why you, yeah, people get confused. I was born in Mexico City. I'm 19 years old, currently. I was born and raised my whole life in Mexico, pretty much. I went to school there and, you know, finished up to high school and then I came here. My name is Marcus Yo, and I'm a medical laboratory technologist. Every morning when I get ready for work, I like to look at the pictures of my parents because every time we speak on the phone, they remind me um, to work hard and never give up on my dreams. This individual is from Malaysia. His name is Marcus. Now, Marcus came here in 2003 and has been here for a long time. I came to America when I was 17 um, in January of 2003. I came to America because I wanted to get a better education and also ultimately to pursue my dreams of becoming a doctor and helping people in need. I look at uh, the immigration laws, I look at what Sheriff Joe's procedures are, his policies, I look at those as equivalent to Hitler's eugenic practices. And eventually, if things get out of control, it can lead to persecutions of people, disregard of international law. And in this case, that's what happened. All we ever wanted to be was to set but it was all just a dream. Citizens of the United Islands of Charity, sometimes your only transportation is a leap of faith. Amnesty and amnesty for all.